I've suffered to help other women. I feel that I've had to go through this journey of violence, aggression, rape, torture, whatever you want to call it, because that's what it was, where I lost myself. I feel I had to go through that learning so that I can help other women. And my role purely today is to teach women how sacred they are and how beautiful they are. The Quran talks about the womb a lot, talks about feminine energy a lot. When the Quran talks about men and women, it's men and women, masculine and female. Not one is better than the other. The teaching is there. It talks us about the clot that is formed, the souls of masculine and feminine, and that he then sent us all out as tribes. I have been invited over to America to do some workshops on, um, you know, the sacred female. And, um, and I'm, I'm in the process of writing a book at the moment about my experiences. And it will be a spiritual book. It's about the woman understanding who she is. And it's my journey through a very dramatic, through my Rouhani path, how I've come to actually understand who I am. And I've found a publisher and I hopefully it will be published by the end of the year, inshallah. And um, I have a retreat in Somerset coming up where I'll be going through this whole process. My work is very specific because it works with, because of all my traumas have been in the area of the womb, um, which has been taken away and, you know, I'm, re you know, working through the energy system of love to actually bring, my, bring, through, bring myself back through the energy of the creation point of God. God created everybody. I often see the womb as an amazing organ that we actually don't appreciate because in that there's a sperm and an ovum come together, fuse, multiply, manifest, create all the Allah's names could be put into that moment and then God goes, <laughs> blows on there and brings the soul in. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Do you know what we, how much we create? It's an amazing, I call it the genosis of the womb. And in that time, masculine and female are in union. The energies are in union. And at that time, we are connected to God. That's the time where we all wish we were back in our mother's umbilical cord, attached into the womb because we knew exactly what our sole purpose was. We knew why we were here and we could feel God. Unfortunately, when we came out, we forgot quite a lot. We forgot our purpose, we forgot our, our root, and we needed, to, we needed to forget to find ourselves again. I've taken the door of Islam to find myself. And spiritually, reading the Quran, it's changed. When I first converted, I read it like a, like a, like a lecture. Oh, I can't do this, and I can't do that. Oh, okay, I've got to do this, and I've got to do that. Okay. And it became almost like a, um, a, a what do you call it, an encyclopedia, a textbook, you know? The do's and don'ts of living, okay? And then when I came back from my Hajj and I read the Quran again, I realized the Quran is a heart. And in that heart, there's gentle, beautiful, notes being read and in each of those notes there's energy and that's the beating heart you cannot take the Quran this is my learning and look at one ayah and say okay that's a, that's right for humanity you've got to take the whole of the Quran as one beating heart and when you connect to that spiritual heart then you will understand. It's almost like, here's the jigsaw puzzle and you're trying to put the jigsaw together. Go above it, feel above it and see. So my work is about for women to understand all aspects of themselves. The sexual, the emotional, the physical and the mental. It's about understanding who they are and then being able to work equally with their men in a decent relationship. That's what I feel my passion is. That's what I feel Hajj taught me. And that's where my Islam is going. Through.